Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Dungeon Magic, also known as Lightbringer in Japan. Dungeon Magic is an isometric beat em up that was developed by Taito in 1994. Now, Dungeon Magic is pretty unique for an arcade game. It's not your usual hack and slash that move on to the next section. Well, it is and it isn't. In this game, you have moments when you have to choose your own paths, upgrade your weapons and shields, solve puzzles, and even gain experience. It's like an arcade RPG similar to a Dungeons and Dragons, just less complicated because D&D really needs some getting used to. Dungeon Magic is not a hard game, but just pull up a stool or a high chair because you're going to be playing it for a while. It's pretty long for an arcade game. In this game, you and your buddies are having drinks at a local bar when suddenly all hell breaks loose. A magician has brought an evil spirit back to life and kidnapped the princess to sacrifice her as an offering to appease the evil spirit. You and all four other warriors have been tasked to defeat him, rescue the princess, and restore peace to the land. There are five stages in this game, each of which is composed of linked areas. So as mentioned earlier, you have to explore and select paths to find the boss and get through the stage. There's also secret areas you can run into. So if you're gonna do the full player experience, it's highly advisable to have a point man in all this. The idea of leveling up is usually reserved for home console RPGs because of the time commitment, but I think Dungeon Magic does a good job with its leveling system for an arcade game. I wouldn't say that their system is better or worse than the Dungeons and Dragons system, but one thing I think that Dungeon Master does better is keeping it simple. There is a bit of a learning curve in Dungeons and Dragons, and that learning curve can be costly because it's an arcade game. It's not costly when you're grinding it out on a home console RPG or just learning the basics. Dungeon Magic integrates the leveling system right into the action so there's basically no learning curve. You can just go right on in. Obtaining experience is done simply by killing enemies and obtaining loot. Gaining more experience can increase your health and speed up your special attack. Dungeon Magic was re-released in the Taito Legends 2 collections for the PS2 and the Xbox way back around 2007. Other than that, I'm not sure if it had seen any home ports or if it's even available on some newer console arcade archives. There was concept art and plans for a sequel called Lightbringer 2 Terra Incognita but was cancelled unfortunately, which is too bad because Dungeon Magic is a really cool game with a cool soundtrack and it's truly a hidden gem. So if you ever have the opportunity to play the game, check it out and let me know what you think.